Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Prisoner Architect Strategy and Tactics Episode, uh, I think 10. Yeah, 10 sounds about right. So, in our last episode, we, uh, we had our first fight. No casualties from it, thank goodness. But yeah, we have an instigator on our hands. Um, wasn't that we let anyone go too far. We just had a uh, S-stir, if you will. There you go. We got our doctor healing up our uh, healing up our dudes. Um, actually, for due to the rule of four, I think it might be wise. Although my cash flow went back down south, so maybe not. Uh, I was about to say hire two more doctors. Um, perhaps, perhaps in a bit, but first things first, I just noticed something wondrous, something beautiful, if you will. Um, we had two people pass the foundation education course. That's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Uh, that means we have, we can actually open up a library, a real library, um, and we're, where are we going to put it? We're going to put it in here. Now, that being said, we need to, well, repurpose this room here. Um, so we have, uh, we've got some stuff to build. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just, uh, fill out the one, uh, the one visitor table here. Um, and then what, we got two more there, but we're going to need, uh, we're going to need a, um, yeah, we got two more, so we can just build one more. So we'll actually just put this one right here, so that way we don't lose parole or visitation functionality. And then, oh, actually, no, we'd get three here. Well, I already bought them, so what the hey? Oh, you know what? We're doing we're doing several visitor tables as well. So that's that's not all uh, that's not all a prop that's not at all problematic. Hey, another hay. How many hays do we have in this? All right. I think once we get this here in our library built, then uh, we'll be building our next cell block to get our funds back in the green. All right, yeah, we got parole up and running there. As soon as we get that visitation table in place, then we can dismantle the parole slash visitation room and turn it into a much needed library. Now the library, much like the shop, um, uh, has books come in unsorted and you need a uh, prisoner uh, worker to sort them. The problem is the prisoner worker there needs to be educated with the uh, foundation education program, which is why we didn't do this sooner. Um, but now that we have that, we can make it happen. All right, let's uh, dezone these. Yoink. Oh, we can also, on our deployment, um, guard doesn't need to be stationed in there anymore. Uh, we will keep the, um, here we'll dismantle, dismantle, and dismantle. Um, tit. Sorry guys, visitation's been, well, not cancelled, but moved anyway. Other room, other room. Oh yeah, we should probably get some CCTVs in here. That This is going to be a place we're going to want to watch carefully. Um, what I'll probably do... Yeah, one right here and one right here. They can both peer into each of those uh, depending on how they sweep. Uh, let's make sure we have utilities. Oh, we do have utilities. Good. All 
I might need to tweak some of the reform program uh, timings. All right, got those packed up. Let us go back in here. Visitor table. Visitor table. And then we'll have actual visitation visitations. Like so. I told you guys not to go in here. Do I have to tell it more? Staff only. Staff only. You're not wasting your time cleaning this empty area. I only did that to leave to let the poor uh, the poor guy out. Boy, our staff room's getting crowded. Hmm, we might actually need another staff room. Uh, maybe like one, maybe actually right here. This might actually legit be a, uh, uh, a probable place for a staff room. And since we have all those extra items that we have in pack, we, we've packed up in here. Um, yeah. All right, let's, um, yeah, this is our, our new CCTV monitor. Double barreled drugs. Wow. Look at all that. Sheesh. Uh, dude? Dude? Yeah, that's, um, you're, you're not allowed in reception. Say hello to Mr. Shotgun. Speaking of Mr. Shotgun... Um, we, um, we're here, here's going to be the, uh, the, the little trick that I'm going to be doing with Mr. Shotgun here. Um, now I'm not going to hire any more of them, but, uh, armed patrols, uh, we will take away one there and we will, um, we'll put one patrolling here. One armed guard. Now, you might be saying, Pinstar, what the Sam heck are you in? Are these backwards? I think these are backwards. Yeah, they're backwards. Derp, 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 derp. Staring at the wall. Derp, derp, derp. All right, let's, uh, let, yeah, let's actually get our second staff room in here proper. Get that in there. And and what the hey, we'll kit this out. We've got all we got all the spares here. Um, you know what? Let's let's try a different layout here. Let's put the serving table way in the back here. Um, and then we'll put a uh, we'll put the large TV here. Like so. And we'll put the drink machine here. All right, we got our wide sofas here. One, two, three, four. And then back here is where we'd have our radiator and toilets. Actually, the radiator can go along here. The toilets. Yeah, the toilets kind of need to be in the back. Uh, toilet, toilets. And heck, while they're on the can, they can uh, watch TV. And what the hey, we'll uh, use up these last two sofas that we've got here. And we'll need a light. Well, you guys come rushing here for the nothing available to you.
Oh wait, wrong, wrong, wrong place. It's along here, isn't it? Yeah, it's up there. Ah, uh, hot water pipe. Up to there. And let's make sure we uh, mark this as staff only, please. Get that stuff out of backlog. Um, all right, we've. Uh, oh yeah, we we took a, took down those CCTVs. Let's put them back up properly, please. One here, one here. So, oh yeah, I uh, had mentioned, uh, or I had failed to mention why I put a, a guy here. So, when people come to both visitation and parole, it's not all the time. So it's not a constant. Um, you know, uh, exposure in here. Now for visitation, for the people that occasionally pop in there, you know what, maybe a little bit of extra suppression now and again will be good for their punishment scoring, um, but it's not so constant that they can't pass classes. For parole people, uh, when somebody comes up for parole, if they are, if they are given parole, then obviously they're happy, they're, they head home, uh, and it doesn't matter whether or not they're suppressed. However, if they are denied parole, they get a temporary debuff called angry, which can make them more prone to kicking off. However, if they've been sitting in this room for four hours uh, with this armed guard staring them down, they're also going to be suppressed. So the suppress will keep the angry in check. So it is less likely that we'll have a prisoner fly off the handle in here. So that's kind of my logic for it. Um, and also, if there is an incident in here, we have an armed guard to uh, uh, to come deal with it. So that's that's kind of the reason why. Oh yeah, we should probably also build a, uh, a metal detector here, just because people like to bring illicit goods in. And that can't be done. Yeah, Mr. Warden, Mr. Lobbyist. How the heck, how, 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 why haven't you stopped these, these, this flood of uh, non, uh, persona non gratas uh, f popping into my uh, prison here, huh? Huh? All right, let's get, uh, let's get our next cell block up and running. We are long overdue for that. Um, and I don't want to be uh, burning cash too much here. So I will see you guys on the flip side. We're pretty much going to be mirroring what we did up top. And we're back. Uh, so yeah, we had this little kitty corner cell here, so I decided to just make it actually just facing outwards, and we'll just do a remote door and use up that last solitary door. I'm not necessarily going to define it as a solitary cell, although I might, uh, I might, if, uh, if one of our uh, McNasties turns out to be too McNasty for the general population, I might uh, perma-solitary somebody. But we have enough cash uh, to float to build all of this up in here. And we've got all of our utilities running. So, oh, and of course, I forget to build the library. Uh, I'm going to prioritize this library because we are way overdue for it. Five by five. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we do need to keep the... Uh, keep the metal detector because it does spawn uh, uh, 
uh, uh, scissors. No, oh, this actually works out quite nicely. Oh yeah, the, that. Um, I might move the CCTV, but for the moment, let's get our sorting desk. Actually, you know what? The sorting desk right here with the, the library shelves like that works out just fine. Anything else in here? We got our lights. Yeah, I think we'll be... I think we're good. Uh, and I will uh, priority... Priority, priority, priority. Because come tomorrow's work first workstation, I want I want that library up and running. This is the nice thing about having this internal courtyard. I can do make I can do construction whenever the heck I want, and I don't need to worry about somebody running out um, if I don't have it done by the morning. Cooks are cooking. Get our people snoozing. This guy is still locked up, isn't he? Oh, alcohol. Okay, good. They're reset up so I can uh, hook them back up to our CCTV. Like so oh yeah we can um, I can now go to programs parole there's my parole hearing we can just basically have these running round the clock Yeah, I know we I we I know we have a lot of uh, people interested in work in the workshop stuff. Uh, oh, one other thing we need to do is uh, where is my uh, general education? Hmm, nobody's interested or qualified yet. Well, we got a couple of people that passed the the thing, but they just might not simply might not be interested. Uh, oh yeah, logistics. Max jobs three, we'll have three. Let there be light. Did I put in dir servos? I don't think I did. Not to these, anyway. I put one in for our super special room. Which I, you know, now that I think about it, I might do that. I might actually define it as a solitary. Um, since, it, since it's a, a solitary uh, door there. So it'd be our one solitary cell in here. And if somebody establishes themselves as especially naughty, they might wind up in there permanently. At least until I can come up with my uh, alternative pro troublemaker um, uh, uh, design here, which I do, uh, I do have in mind. Um, just I want to finish the main, well, circle right here before I start branching out and doing our alternative housing. So it might be a stopgap measure here. And maybe if I revisit my punishments here, um, I can set some of the more severe ones to a long stay in solitary. Uh, so if, uh, 
if our uh, fight starter, our instigator, you know, it's, and that's the weird thing. Like our extremely volatile guy. I don't think I don't think he was part of that nonsense. I think it was just our instigator. All right, a couple prisoner intakes. I wasn't expecting to get these done for for uh, this morning's intake anyway. Yes, we are getting donated books. So many donated books. And nobody wants to clean up all the dirty prisoner uniforms in here. I mean, the prison laborers can't do that. Um, you got Gordon. Huh? Nothing. You got nothing. All right, you guys just doing your thing. That's fine. I'm curious though. Who who uh, who have? Well, we'll find out once uh, once they start working there and sorting the books. Who who are the ones the the lucky ones that that actually start uh, pass the class? I am I am extremely curious to know. I wonder if it's one of any of our named people. All right, let's see. Uh, you guys there, you got free time. One interesting note about free time is that it actually doesn't do anything for reform. Um, you know, they're not working a job, so they're not getting a reform score. They're not going to a class, um, uh, so they're not getting a reform score. They're not being punished or locked up, so they're not getting punishment score. Um, so reform just keeps just help i mean it helps them with their needs don't get me wrong but um it uh it doesn't help their reform or reoffending score so but then again you do want to give them some free time so that they might have uh um you know uh you get their freedom need done otherwise they're going to start trying to escape now you see look at this triple uh triple barreled uh parole hearings going on here and while they're sitting here talking to their lawyers, they are uh, they are being made aware of their of this uh, this this nice gentleman with the shotgun. And yeah, of course, all these families visiting uh, with these little children, and I'm sure Mr. Shotgun will be extra gentle around them. Boy, our guys are still unpacking all of this stuff. All right, is somebody, ooh, all right, who is it? Who passed it? Brian Cole, who is, who is um, one of our orange people. So they just dove right in and just aced it, like right off the bat, which is awesome. And yeah, he so he takes all the unsorted books and sorts them and then puts them on the shelves. Uh, and then other people who have literacy needs uh, can come and do that. Hey, come on, man. He was working. Don't break the man's focus. All right. Yeah, look at all this. Triple, uh, triple visitations here. I'm glad we had the extra visitors tables because, yeah, more prisoners needs more people wanting to visit. Uh, also, we will getting a good, be getting a good chunk of change from our cell block C here. And so, see, look, our, our guy here is is suppressed. Oh, he's he's our uh, he's extremely volatile. Well, hey, he's got a nice layer of suppression on him. So, uh, but he's not always going to be in there. It's only when he's got visiting family. Uh, so it's a way to gently and, well, not, I wouldn't say evenly apply suppression, but make it so, God. P 
Pete's sake. Alberto, how are you doing, buddy? How are you going for a run? How uh, how how's your uh, how's your grading? Forty two percent. Hmm. Security, health. Whoa. All right, who is it this time? All right, Erickson, attacked prisoner. Oh, a snitch. They are going after the snitch. I just want to see who else is in here. Oh, no, Brian Cole. Stop, stop, stop. Get out of there. Get out of there, man. Come on. We need you to sort books. And Sergeant Sniffum once again. Once again. All right, did we... Uh, all right, good. Our... Uh, We didn't, uh, I don't think we lost our, uh, our educated guy. For Pete's sake. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to get some protective, uh, stuff done here. Actually, what I need to do, here's what I need to do. I need to get to my prisoners... Um, let me pull up my prisoner list because what I need to do is the snitches and ex-law enforcements who are in medium sec need to go to low sec because low secs won't do that to them. Actually, let me go to intelligence here. Okay. Um... Let's see. Stoical. In, yeah, there's our instigator. Actually, I, our instigator might have been part of all this nonsense. A strong snitch ex-law enforcement. That's... You're just going to hurt people, aren't you? Because they're going to attack you, and then you're going to hurt them right the heck back. And there's our extremely volatile. So our once again, our extremely volatile um, it had nothing to do with this. Fearless, strong... All right, you, my friend, you are going to go back down to minimum security so that you might uh, you might be with more gentle company. And actually, do I have any confidential informants or any avail any potential ones? I, I, I have not been good at ch checking for that. And I think that's because you need uh, them in actual solitary. So maybe this solitary cell might be a uh, might be a good uh, place for it. All right, snitches and ex-law enforcement in low sec are fine, tough. Ex-law enforcement, you get to go back down to minimum security. Gang members do not get that. And I can't believe they, they make the dogs stay there. Extremely volatile. And then we have some question marks. We get the, we'll get those traits when they uh, talk on the phone and we have, happen to be wiretapping them at the time. That's the whole reason for the wiretaps is that we can discover those. Since I'm not really doing the confidential informant thing, uh, well, very aggressively. Yeah, we got to figure this one out. If we need to build it elsewhere... Um, then we'll build it elsewhere. It might be that we can't just have we can't have this one touching these two. Let me let me can let me uh, test that theory. Just to see. Yeah, dismantle that.
All right, that's in place. Did we uh, did we ever ins? They can't install that. Failed five times. Well, you are indeed a failure. And even our injured injured sergeant sniffums. Well, let's just open the door. Until someone installs that thing. Let the dog sleep for... Man, Sergeant Sniffums does not rest. Not for nothing. Hey, what are you guys doing? You, you discussing escape plans? Yeah, keeping these snitches and the ex-law enforcement out of out of medium security and especially out of high security once we get them is going to be paramount. And more poison discovered by our heroic Sergeant Sniffums. Man, I wonder if our laundry can keep up. Let's uh, let's max out the jobs here, and let's get some more um, let's get some more laundry baskets in here, just in case people need them to do what they're supposed to be doing. You guys should really be leaving this for the prisoners to do, please. They are not for you to be doing. All right. Uh, so for this place, we are going. We are going to define this as a solitary, um, and we will get it. Get a bed in here. We'll have a toilet in here, and of course a shower. Now, for solitary, do we want a shower for them? I don't know if we want a shower for them, specifically. All right, uh, we've got that thing. Let's uh, connect up Der Servo. And then we can finally... Uh, All right, we'll define this area as unlocked for the time being. Uh, these these cells over here are uh, part of MinSec, because that's kind of part of this little wing here. So actually, we might as well we might as well kit these these little cells out here. Uh, so yeah, those are going to be. Might as well get those up and running since the rest of this block works out for it. For it. All right, food uh, lunch is going uh, just fine. We got. I think the. I think those extra laundry baskets are definitely helpful. All right, let's see. Let's uh, let's kit out the rest of this, um, uh, rest of these anyway. So these are going to be. Yeah, 
And this should give us, uh, once all these are built and, um, and what have you, um, cell block C. Now, I don't think we'll be able to necessarily max out all the cell block rewards um, uh, grants, uh, but we're not going we're not going for a ultra mega giga high capacity prison here. That's not the point of this place. The point of this place is to be functional and dynamic and secure um, while still having good reforms in here and uh, being very difficult to escape from. So that's that is our goal here. All right, these are packed up here. Let's uh, let's try for the moment. To uh, to put our uh, utility down here. See what that does for us. Yeah, shop is pretty much all done. Look at all these shelves, beautifully stacked. And yeah, we got some people working in the shop here that don't necessarily need to work in the shop because there's no one really going to be around to buy from it, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll, 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 it'll work out for us. All right, let's speed this up. And also see if this thing works out for us. Because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to run into a severe power deficit here. And I have a feeling we're going to be installing a lot of lights very soon. Yeah, these guys are just wandering around the shop doing nothing, but eh, that's all right. They're, they are, it is it is time spent working, which improves their reform score. Um, and I'll probably make most of the money that they get back from them buying from the shop during other periods. All these things being stored on the dirty trays, or potentially being stored on the dirty trays. All right, we are getting our uh, cell count up nice and gradually here. Let's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to prioritize that one right there. Once we get our chunk of change, we'll get the, uh, the, the lower taxes research. Let's see. Is somebody going to bring that in? See who play? All right. Everyone's just snoozing at this point, which is fine. All right. Let's re let me revisit my punishments to see what might be worth gr um, days without incident. Bah. We were having such good, uh, such good uh, revenue with that too. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Not grants. Policy. There we go. Murder. Uh, serious injury gets solitary. Um, four or five hours. Murder gets solitary. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah, anyone who causes a serious injury is going to be, is going to wind up in solitary. And anyone who kills anyone is definitely going to. Hmm. 
control left click that's what I've done oh is somebody installing it oh, that must be it right there all right I just want to make sure and see if the power, I mean, if the nice thing is because everyone is in, in bed, if the power goes out at this point. Yep. Okay. That didn't work. Uh, back to the drawing board on that one. Switch on. We'll find a new home for this. Believe you me. All right. So, um, if you, uh, so uh, that should be about it. We're just putting the last of this and we'll be good. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. Uh, so until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out.